holder of the rose. Anywhere in your most darkest hour, you can only pray that you are truly obsessed with one object. If you have deemed your life worthless to live, and you indeed have the means to end it, say the name of this holder once, and attempt to end your life. As you lose consciousness, the things around you will change, though you will barely tell. As you are now dying, submit to the cold. You will wake up. Do not question why. This holder does not like those who question the powers of the objects. Your body has been placed up high. Three nails bind you to the walls of a church. One in your left hand, one in your right, and one piercing both of your feet. This was necessary, for the greatest sin is taking the most valuable gift from God. Your life. If you have not been deemed tainted enough by any object, the holder will leave you here, forever nailed, forcing you to watch the churchgoers pray, thinking you are Jesus. Though they do not know it, they are praying to a false idol, which is now you. Every one of these souls will be banished to hell. And once someone figures this all out and takes you down, they will be waiting. Soon, a bright, golden light will appear before you. It will be okay to close your eyes. This light will fade, and a man of stunning beauty and grace will be floating before you. This man is not a man. It is the Archangel Barachiel, he will smile upon you, laughing at your pitiful state of mind, and the situation you are in now. You must ask him one question. Which one of us did he deem unworthy? His expression will change from mockery to that of pity. He will wind up his right arm and impale you with a rose. Not just any rose, the white rose. Its stem will pierce your heart, the barbs ripping and annihilating every fibre of you that they come in contact with. Here is your final chance. You must get the rose out of you with the pure will to live, and that alone. You will struggle, thinking about your failed past wondering why your life seemed so condemned to sorrow and depression. Yet you must look past this. Find the meaning of your life, of life itself. And if you should succeed, the angel will smile upon you. The rose will fall to the ground, as will your limp body. Before you lose consciousness, you must grab the rose and keep even the slightest grip. If you have won this holder's respect, the white rose will be by your side as you wake up, exactly where you left off, on the edge of suicide, the instrument of your death in your hand. I would advise you not attempt suicide again, for if you do, you will have a face-to-face -face meeting with this holder. Hell would be like heaven to you. After that, you will go home and rest, but not before spilling a drop of your own blood onto the white rose. With every drop of blood, it will grow, the stem climbing to impossible lengths and the flower to immense size. As long as you put one drop of blood onto the rose, you will live a happy life. But if you should fail to quench its thirst, even once it will be the instrument in your suicide. The white rose is object 348 or 538. 
the essence of beauty is unrightfully taken by its own hand.